this is the programming a drum beat into the multi-track video and I wanted to show you how easy it is to step program a drum beat into the multi-track using drum samples in, in it's so simple and you can make the most intricate drum beats you 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 could ever devise because you can fully manipulate the tempo and the the time signature and everything you can map this thing out to go wherever you want very 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 simple to do and I have some drum samples here of my drum set I, I sampled these uh, yesterday they're not the greatest but they'll work for the demonstration because I don't have any actual drum samples I can manipulate Let's see here. Okay, let's start out like this. Timeline, menu, let's go and set our tempo. For this, uh, for this part of the beat, the tempo is going to be 145. And when I make up a drum uh, beat, say if I'm doing it this way or, or in, in MIDI workstation, I do it at measures at a time. This measure is at this tempo, and then I have my fills, and you're going to have to tweak it all up, but it's, it's very simple to do. So, we have our tempo. It's a 4-4 four, four beat. If we wanted to change the, 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 that part of it, we would just go to set time signature. You can do whatever you want. So, 4-4 four, four beat. Let's uh, set the grid at whole notes first because we're going to be putting in our kick and the kick is on one on a 4-4 four, four beat so let's name our tracks with the control left click there kick enter snare enter and hi-hat enter with an escape and we'll arrow up okay now I'm going to use my I'm going to I'm going to right arrow. Well, maybe that's too much. Let's see here. Right arrow. There we go. I just want you to be able to see the samples because they're so puny when you, you... Okay, so we have our kick here. Our cursor here. Let's see what they, how big it is. Okay, here's my kick. I'm going to select the kick. And I can either just hit the insert button here or I can come back here click back inside the multi-track window this way I can use the insert key on my keyboard which I like better I can use it over and over and you know so I'm gonna insert my kick there it is make it a little bigger so you can see it there so that's one and it's on the whole note I can't screw this up I right arrow and I press insert right arrow insert and I keep doing this until uh, I've made my measure up you know of how, how, how long is this beat going to go on for and then once I have that set you know is it going to be X bars 5 bars 20 bars whatever of this exact drum beat then it's made and I can select it and copy it and move it wherever I want okay and we went over copying stuff in other videos okay so I can go home and we can go there's our drum beat and I can uh, let's let's hear our kick There it is. And do you notice how perfect my, my timing, how perfect it is? Okay. So now we're at going to do the snare. I'm going to whole note to the number one. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to pick half notes. This way I can move halfway because snare, put the snare right where I want it. So I'm going to right arrow and it moved half a note. Let's make sure we click our snare here, go back into this window, and now we're set up. Enter. Oh. Enter. One, two. See, I'm moving half a note. Actually, I'm moving actually a whole one, two, three, four, but in the middle. That's why the half uh, setting the grid this way works so good. 
And I mean, once you have this down, you can make a drum beat so fast. There. And you make it measures at a time. So there we go. So let's hear our bass snare. Nice. Nice. Okay, now we're at hi-hat. Let's uh, let's go back up here. Let's. I like to tab. I'm going to tab there to my first. That's my number one. That's where I want to start. And then I'm going to set this at quarter note because there's going to be a hi-hat hit on every every note. Now I'm going to go select my closed hi-hat. Click in here and insert, right arrow, insert, and so on. Just keep doing this all the way down. I think that does it. Oh, maybe we get a couple more. Insert, insert, there. Stops on one. Actually, oh, whatever. Okay, so now we have our drum beat. And it's perfect timing. So, I mean, it's that simple. Pretty simple to do. And now I can go through and affect these sounds. And believe it or not, I mean this is the this is the sound dry, and it's a, these are samples of old heads. I mean, using a CAD mic and a SM57, and it sure sounds like it. But you tweak them, do a little EQ, and wow, you can get you have something to work with. So there you go. That's how easy it is to make a drum beat. Don't be afraid.